All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a change to your memorized transactions and uh, keep it in the list there and how to cancel memorized transactions. Okay, so you go up here under lists, down to memorized transaction list. And here's your list of memorized transactions. A couple things to notice here, it's a, it is a sortable, you know, notice how these turn to blue up top. So that means you can sort by any of these different headers. All right. What's a nice thing to do is to sort by this next date. So you can come in here and see which ones haven't been run. Okay. You can also customize these columns and add a couple more things in there. All right. But on this video, I want to show you. Okay. So first things first, let's go ahead and edit this bill that's automatically supposed to be entered in here. So I'm going to highlight the bill and go down here and you can see how it says edit memorized transaction and what that does is you can edit the frequency of the transaction so do you want to now set it to add to your reminders list do you want to set it to go quarterly instead of monthly how many more do you have remaining but what we really want to do is we want to change let's say the amount that's billed so i'm going to go ahead and double click on this it's going to open up into the transaction Okay, so I'm going to say I need to change the amount to be $35 flat. Okay, the amount's going to change to $35. Now I don't want to save this one because I want it to automatically go in in a couple weeks when it's January 4th. All right, but what I do want to do is I want to memorize it again. So I want to set it so that this bill is not $25.32 now anymore. I want it to be $35. So you change the transaction, you don't save, don't save, don't save and close, okay, because we don't want this to post. We go up to edit and memorize bill. And we click on that, QuickBooks is smart enough to realize, do you want to add a second memorized transaction? So no, I don't want to have two, one with the $25, one with the $35. I want to replace my old one and have it just be $35. So I'm going to say replace. Okay, so it saves that right there. I'm not going to save this again. That did not save this, this transaction. That did not post this transaction, and I don't want this to post. So I'm going to come down here and push clear so it doesn't post. But when I go look at my memorized transaction list now, it's at $35. So that's how to change the amount on your memorized transactions.